Factions are the leading forces of huge territories in Deep Woken, with each faction having a different territory and different goals. There are currently 11 known factions in Deep Woken. The Kingdom of Itreya is one of the oldest and previously strongest faction mostly situated in the Eastern or Etrian Luminant. It is a kingdom made by Etrians for Etrians, and was previously unmatched due to the sheer power of the higher-ups in their army and leaderships. The five kings of Etria were known as some of the strongest human beings to walk this world. Currently, with the king's disappearance and regent's control, this faction is far weaker than what it used to be. We're masters of the ocean. The Central Authority is currently one of the strongest and most influential faction in Diepwoken. The Authority has control over the Central Luminant and large portions of other islands in other Luminants. Their goal is global conquest, and they have the strongest and toughest military force in all of Deepwoken, thanks to the brutal training authority peacekeepers go through. Consisting of mostly adrets, this faction stops at nothing to conquer every Luminant possible. Their leader is Dralis Air, which is one of the strongest people in Deepwoken as of today. This faction is currently trying to invade Etris, which will lead to another great drowning in the Etrean Luminant. The Hive is a faction consisting mostly of Vesperians, Ganymedes, and Chrysids, is a faction that aims to build a home above the rising tides and escape the great drownings to give a better life for the bug people living there. This faction is an old faction, with many scholars proficient in the ways of the song, having invented life-weaving which is what allows this faction to create massive tree houses and its powerful military assets such as hive golems. This faction has great hives, such as the one we see in Aratel, all across the Luminance, which their central hive being the biggest one. The Hive is currently led by Hive Lord Ryback Deary, whose full name I can't be asked to pronounce. The Hundred Legions is a guerrilla army force, consistent of 100 different legions, with each having their own purpose and power. One of the legions is currently in the Atreian Luminant, fighting the authority and exploring Eresia. They consist of mostly Gala Breathers, this faction got beef with the authority because they broke their peace treaties that they signed. This faction's goals are currently unclear and unknown. The Summer Company and the Ignition Union are both technological-based factions that strive to make the world a better place thanks to their technology that greatly upgrades quality of life. The Summer Company are like Americans, obsessed with guns and weaponry, while the Ignition Union focuses on mining and building machinery for depths, exploration, and mining. Examples of this can be the drill that quite literally just drills through the ground deep enough and travels into a drowned god's domain with little issue. The leader of the Summer Company is still Gunsmith Rosen, although old as shit and on the verge of withering from old age. The leader of the Ignition Union is unknown. The Children of Navai are a faction of nomadic tribes of Gremors who seek the celestial goddess Navai and follow her guidance. They mostly strive for peace, but the racist Etrean and Authority factions never give them any. These Gremors are proficient in frost draw and fight barehanded, using their signature fighting style or with spears. The faction's goals and purpose is to seek Navae. The Divers are a faction funded by the Authority that focuses on exploring and studying the depths. This faction is mainly located in the central Luminant and in the first layer of the depths. Recruits are trained in Markor Citadel and then sent to various expeditions. The number of divers is thinning out due to expedition teams constantly being underqualified and dying. With a 98% mortality rate, being a diver is one of the most dangerous jobs you can have in Deepwoken. 
Only the elite divers who are promoted to black divers survive the cruel depths. The Ministry is one of the most mysterious and influential factions in Deep Woken, being created not long after the tides and staying out of the eye of the public. This faction is seen more as a depths-worshipping cult. Faction members worship the drowned gods and focus on drowning the entire world. The leaders of the Ministry have a hierarchy, where they are ranked in power. Starting from the first prophet, which is the strongest leader and also the strongest entity amongst every other faction leader, going down from the second to the third and the fourth, which is Lord Regent. There are rumored to be 11 prophets, the last being the weakest. Their main base of operations is unknown. Although we know of one outpost in Minitirsa, which is all the way in the Etrean Luminant. The goal of the ministry is to drown the world as an offering to the gods. The Knives of Eyeless are a mercenary faction that isn't afraid to cross any boundaries or lines for a little bit of money. This faction is widely feared and hated for their ability to teleport to bounties at will. As a void walker or a knife, you are free to do as you please mostly, taking bounties from anyone. Eyeless only sends you on missions herself if the mission is very important and she has to tag along as well. The more trusted knives that stayed in the faction for longer are able to take an oath with Eyeless herself, which grants them time-slowing powers and other different unexplained abilities. Their base of operations is the Void Heart, which is an imaginary place somewhere in the Void that every knife has access to. This is thanks to the Void Mother's deal with Eyeless, which grants her the ability to create these mercenaries. There is no goal for this faction other than Get Bag. The lost Seltor is hardly a faction, but it is what remains of Seltor, a once powerful and important kingdom now lost to the depths after the horrific drowning. Currently, this faction is literally just the dead souls of the guards still standing around Seltor for no real purpose. I genuinely have no idea why the devs even bothered placing guards in the depths. <laughs>